Hello everyone and welcome back to Kitty Play Song and Rampa and this is episode 10. I am so sorry I have not been doing these for a while. It's just a lot of stuff has happened in my life recently and that basically took priority because it's been all family family related stuff and of course that takes priority over stuff like this. So I am back now with more episodes of Danganronpa and hopefully I will get back to doing these on a regular schedule and so with that further without further ado uh let's go out and talk to somebody shall we okay so who should we talk to I mean I could go talk to Hiro again but or Toko or somebody But yeah, sorry, I'm just messing around here. Or accidentally pressing keys, let me move this. Okay, that's much better. Now, uh, wait, duh, map. Wrong map, okay, you know what? It's been a while, so I'm just, I forget things easily, let's just go with that. I could talk to Celeste, but I don't know if I really want to. Who's that in their room? Oh, it's Toko. Eh, I could wait. Duh, presents. Hello. What do I have and what do I not have? Oh, I I should go. I mean, that's the obvious first thing to do. So, like, duh. Sorry, this retrograde's been messing with my brain, so it's like... And it's been a little while since I played Danganronpa, since the last episode I did. So, like, like I said, I forget, like, keyboard commands easily and stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Eh, it depends on the game. Whatever, I'm spouting nonsense. So I'll shut up now. Let's do this. Hopefully we get something good. I'll put four in there for now. Oh goody, that squid thing. I don't know. Water. Hey, here you want some water? <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated, am I right? <laughs> I keep doing the mouse scroll up instead of down. Cause I'm stupid. Oh, a beautiful dandelion thing. Yay. Here you go. I think that's not- Oh, an extra item! Hooray. I like when it gives me an extra item. And it's that rose again. Hey Celeste, you want some flowers? Because I figure that's the kind of thing she would like. I don't know. Have I gotten that before? I don't remember that. Oh. I'll go down to 50 coins and then I'll stop. Oh goody, one of those weird outfits. Oh look, I got lucky again. Yay. That is a, um, oh wow. There was a time I got like, didn't I save this in a previous episode where I got like four in a row? Oh, that's not gonna happen. Okay. I'll do four, and then I'll do four more, and then stop. So. Yes. That looks like a tumbleweed. I have not gotten that before. Why am I getting a tumbleweed? I don't want to give anyone a tumbleweed. Unless they're Togami. I'll just shove it up his. This is a PG-rated channel. I should not say stuff like that. Hey, Togami, you want a tumbleweed? I know where I can put it. Ahem. <laughs> Oops. I pressed the escape key. I am so sorry. But yeah, I, I know where I can put that tumbleweed. And you're all like, Cat, don't be shoving tumbleweed up people's butts. That is nasty. Well, you know what? Togami deserves it for being such a piece of turd. Or giant turd. Excuse me. Nope. I mean, I just want to give it to him for giggles. 
I had to edit a little part out here just now. Excuse me. Um, let's see. I know how to play this game as well. Yeah, mineral water. Hey, Togami, want some cheap mineral water? It's not your fancy stuff. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. You're a turd. It is a tumbleweed. Oh my god. That's funny. A dried out plant seen in many western films. They pile up in your arm and your arch toss them off a cliff or something. <laughs> hey Togami, I got something for you. Yeah. Oh, it's a Reagan. Okay. I think um Hifumi would like that. Pretty hungry caterpillar. And was that it? Oh, here's that book. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. That's also something Hifumi would like. So. Oh yeah, these are kind of strange. So like, I don't know. Resemble some kind of yeti creature. Oh, okay, that's nice. I don't know. Okay. And that's everything. Uh, do I want to, like, just throw this one in the gutter and give Togami the tumbleweed? I mean, it'd be hilarious, but it'd be kind of a waste. So, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Like, as much as I would love to just throw it at his face, I can't do that. Because, yeah, it would waste. Oh, maybe I'll go hang with Chihiro. Cause I love Chihiro. Out here because of- Oh, I could hang with- No, I hang with Taka already, didn't I? Eh, <laughs> I don't know if I have anything he wants, though. So, like, eh, I can't hang with him. I mean, I could, but... Who's up here again? Ugh. I need to get back into, like, doing this, cause, like, it's been a while. Chihiro is in the hallway. So, <clears throat> yeah, see, when you don't play for a while and you're recording it, you gotta remember not to spoil stuff, and it's really hard. When I haven't played in a while, and I accidentally blurt something out, and then, uh, then you're, I'm like, Cat, they don't know that yet. Will you shut up? Aww. Hey, sweetie. Sigh. Um. Oh, Makoto, I didn't realize you were there. Should I try to cheer up Chihiro? But would I give her- Would she like the rose? I don't know. You're right. Yeah, I could use a little change of scenery. Um... Do you mind keeping me company for a while? I spend a nice relaxing time with Chihiro. Nah, she's so cute. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Yes. It's good, but what would I give her? Uh, not the water. Oh, I don't... Eh. I won't want to give her, like, a snack or anything. Let's see. Maybe the rose? I mean... I don't really have anything tech... Or, like, you know, tech-savvy for her. I don't think she would like a ray gun. Uh, that would be more for, well, you know... I guess we'll go with the rose. I'll try the rose and see if she likes that. If not, eh. I'll, I'll just say screw it. Thank you. Oh, she liked it. Thank you, Makoto. Really, thank you so much. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Yay! A what? But she liked it. Why can't I get one? <laughs> Maybe I'll just go give Hifumi that damn book. There's still plenty of time left. I can't sit around, I gotta head out. You know, just for the fun of it, I'll go see Hifumi just because I have stuff that he would like. Yeah. I mean, I could give... I wonder if Hiro would accept that tumbleweed. He might think it's something ancient. Nah, I don't want to risk it. 
I'll just go find Hifumi and give him that book, because I know he would go crazy over it. Aw, Sakura and Hina. Let's see. Kyoko! But I, I see, I don't know what Kyoko would like. Well, I mean, I do, but I can't spoil that, because that would spoil her talent. So, I need to pretend I don't know what she likes. Okay, so he's in the... Oh, okay, he's in the boys' bathroom. Because I'm like, if he's in the girls, I would be pretty concerned. So. Oh, but I have to go hang with him in the bathroom? Is that even... Oh, no. I'll just do it, just because. And plus, not a lot of people hang with him, Boomy. And I like to give, like, love to characters that don't get a lot of love. I mean, I don't really... It's been too long, Mr. Nagi. I mean, I don't care that much for Ifumi, but, like, he's alright. I mean, hey, he's a nerd, so that's cool, I guess, you know. He doesn't get that much love anyway, so I don't know. Plus, you know, we gotta find out more about him anyway, right? Because I guess not a lot of people do. Unless they do in the, like, bonus game, but... Anyways, enough blabbing on. Let's just get this over with. You see, I've been spending time going back and forth between the parallel world. I've been over there for, well, a long time, but I finally returned to my own time. <laughs> wow, that actually sounded kind of cool. I should make that my, like, battle quote. Hmm, should I hang out with Fumi for a while? And plus, he is kind of interesting once you think about it. Like, he's an interesting character, so yeah. And he cares for his friends, that's another thing. He's not a turd, like Togami. So, I mean... Oh? So, you want to be around me, huh? That means you must have realized that I have certain powers. <laughs> yes, that's right. My greatest power is my ability to negate the powers of others. I've never actually used it in a fight yet, but I'm not worried, because whatever abilities they have, all I need is my power of negation. If only cornered me and made me take part in his delusion. Yay. Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hifumi a present? Uh, duh. Because I have something he will just, like, love so much that he might crush it. I'm kidding. Okay. No, that wasn't it. Duh. Okay, uh, the book, the book, the book. And it's all on the way down here. There it is. Okay. Hmm? I never imagined you would to give me something so rare, Mr. Nagy! See what I mean? My deepest thanks to you! Super heart, god level, heart result, heart! Told you. Seeing Hifumi so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Nagy. True quality. Mr. Nagy! And that's why I've decided to present to you my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're going to be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. <laughs> See? There it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all that word is worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay. Because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician must necessarily be a, mus be a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see? It's those experts, those geeks, who open up to wor the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, <laughs> I'm sure of it! You're recognizing us as true experts! Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfic then? Here we go! Oof! Super direct question for the win! Mm -hmm. Basically, we have all different kinds of stores and events, right? This, these are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything! And the stuff those people make... It, oh, that's Makoto talking. Excuse me, I need to get back of things here. 
and the stuff those people make is fanfic. <laughs> Comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Hmm. Way. There's a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. Specifically, it's in any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work. Isn't it a circle? Is it a circle? It sure is! Of course you know that. I mean, it's only common sense. That sound he makes, I just don't know. It just sounds wrong. I certainly hope you didn't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. Without a doubt. This goes well beyond I don't know too much. Mm -hmm. But I guess I can't blame you. Propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously, he's excited, but... <laughs> Wee hee hee hee! That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. Kinda scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. If a music report card is blah blah blah, you just unlock the skill handiwork. Yay! We got a skill. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Whoopee! After we were done, I started to head back to my room for a while. And it's nighttime. Hooray! <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the door. Okay then. We get it, you stupid bear. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? Uh, it's gonna go a pretty long time, Makoto. I hate to tell you that. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Monokuma, how conceited can you get? Good lord. I just don't know. Oh, do we have to get up? Yes, Makoto, you have to get up. Now get out of bed. Good morning, everyone! Get how ready. can you be so cheerful? Oh, that's right. It's a robotic bear. Of course he's cheerful in the morning. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... <laughs> Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Byakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. I mean, duh. Even the table looks bigger somehow. <sighs> I assume that it's because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Byakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. And that's more annoying than me. I'm only average annoying. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be so cold? You don't want to talk, Celeste. Miss throws the teacup at the wall because it is not made properly. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Duh, shit. Anyway, Byaki is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> we got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. Mondo, I, I didn't know that's what you were into, but... Keep the kinks to yourself, okay? This is a this is a PG channel. 
N none of that stuff in this, please. Thanks. Keep that in your dorm room. I think that's going a little overboard. Yeah, we're trying to keep this family friendly. <laughs> what am I saying? This is Danganron, but this game is far from family friendly. Okay. <clears throat> He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we're, we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the heck are you talking about? You gotta use that rope to do tug of war or something, idiot. It can't be. I am not an idiot. Yo. You're an idiot. D Who are you calling stupid? Oh no, poor baby. Huh, what's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakia said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I I hate how weak I am. Ah, <sighs> uh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. What? What? How is what? it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak. You want to say that to my face, Mondo? You'll regret it the minute you do. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Uh, are you crying? Hmm. It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. And you're calling us the weak ones. <laughs> Poor thing. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Hmm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? I got it. I'll make what? you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I've mentioned this before, but... Ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, left you? Yeah. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise, so you don't gotta cry anymore. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, oh, I'm so cute! Sh sure, you're totally not cute. Uh, I swear. But, but I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I will be happy to help you out anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that sound he made. But, but then Miss Fujisaki will get smashed into a billion pieces! Oh, come on, Sakura wouldn't be like that. She wouldn't be that hard on her. I mean, she might look tough, but she's got a heart of gold. Just a second. Shut up, you. Don't judge a book by its cover. Good lord. <laughs> Aw, she's so cute. You know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Y yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man. Hearing Makoto talk like that is funny. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, for sure. I'm sure. Whatever. I totally knew what he said, okay? Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two, who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Well, you could throw a tumbleweed at Togami's face. That's my suggestion. Might not be the best one, but it's what I would do. Like, hey, butt face, take this, um, tumbleweed. And yeah. Okay, so what should I do today? Uh, another free time. Okay, um, hang on. Okay, so. 
my voice was like dying from all that. So, like I said, I need to get used to this again. <sighs> okay, um, I'm gonna go grab more stuff because, like, I don't, I mean, Fufumi's the only one to know, like, the ray gun. I don't know who, like, the other stuff. I don't know if I want to hang with those people. Uh, hang on. I'll check my stuff. I really don't know who would like this. Uh, ideal for a modern on the go public unsatisfied tap water. Well, we know Togami doesn't like tap, uh, probably despises tap water. But I don't think he would like this either, because he probably wants super duper fancy water. You know, because that's, that's Togami. I mean, Celeste might like that, but I don't know if I want to hang with her. A tough, long-lasting cracker used mainly as an emergency ration. Each piece contains a full, different seven flavors. Hey, Hero, you want some crackers? Maybe I'll go hang with him. Because I kind of miss Hero now, so it's like, eh, let's go see him. I miss Hero. Can you blame me? See, he's another character that doesn't get a lot of love. But he's my favorite. Next to Toka. And I love him. Okay. Let's see. Where is that butt face? Not that butt face. I don't want that butt face. Where the hell is he? Ah, okay. He's by... He's in the gym. Wait, second floor. Oh, huh, what heck? Oh, by the pool. Okay. After me getting lost for the five millionth time, we're finally here. Okay. Let's go see Hero and give him those crackers, because, yeah. <sighs> What's going on, Makoto? I'm, like, super exhausted, so I hope you don't need anything from me. Damn it, Hero! I wanted to hang with you and chill with you. You know, be on a nice, chill date. I mean, <clears throat> hanging out. <laughs> totally not a date with you and and yeah but you gotta be all exhausted on me now hmm should I hang out with Hero please aww can you try and cheer me up Makoto I'm down in the dumps and got no energy at all I did my best to cheer up a down and out Hero Ah, he looks happy now Hero and I grew a little closer today would you like to give Hero a present my undying love I mean ahem <clears throat> See if he likes those crackers. Hmm. I wonder how much I could get for this at the pawn shop. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I appreciate it, really. Does that mean he liked it? No. Yay! Hey, Makoto, what's up? My brother and fellow mother lover. Not that again, hero. Can we, can, can we forget that part and just be like. Not bros, but lovers. Cough, cough. Let's raise our semi siblings up bread, okay? Uh, n n no. S stop talking about that. Oh, so then. So, you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? I saw you doing palm readings and stuff, and you didn't use any tools or anything. Hmm. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divination tools. Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world. <laughs> er, I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind of tools. Yo. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. I just don't know. No thanks. Could it be? There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. 
Generally, the cards in the Major Arcana are used for divination. Do you know what I'm talking about? And no, Makoto, I'm not talking about the Fate series either. Please don't get all geeky on me. The Major and Minor Arcana. The Major Arcana cards are used to tell the future, blah, 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 as tarot cards. Oh, I know. You're talking about tarot cards. Ah, gloriously correct. I will now tell your fortune for a measly 600 bones. Wow, really? Something I never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. Mm. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Don't be mean. Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology? Yo. It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birth dates, letter numbering, all of that. But I didn't see you do anything like that either. Hmm. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly BAM, you've got the info. You're talking about intuition. How about that? Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. But if it's not intuition, then it's gotta be some kind of supernatural power. It's not like some occult mystery. But it is. I'm just kidding. Don't compare my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Well? Yep. Now there's some. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I use white magic to record a CD of spirit messages that messages I revive, received from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby, and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult? What the heck? Hey, business is business. I'm sure all of you are finding it hard to believe that he's one of my favorites. Because of how stupid he is. And hypocritical he is, but... Yeah, he, he's still one of my favorites. Believe it or not. So, you know... Whatever you want is fine with me. But yeah, he's one of my faves. Obviously. But yeah. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. Here's a support card has been updated. And we got more skill points instead of a new skill. But that's fine, we got a new skill last time, so it's all good. Shook off Hero Seal's pitch and headed back to my room for a while. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Now that that's taken care of, let's see. Oops. Okay. I might get... Oh, I, I, I could hang with Soul West. Give her that damn... Ro Do I still have a rose left? I completely forget. Now I'm out. Eh, I don't think she'd like that. I don't think I have any- wait, I had that one thing. Ugh. She might like that. Oh, female fanfic fan. Eh, I could try to see if she likes this. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna how give it a you? shot. Uh, Makoto, how are you? Should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Eh, let's Indeed. go for it. Even if I don't get anything out of this, it's whatever. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. <sighs> I just don't know. Celeste gave me the business. And took all my money. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Okay. She likes this. I don't know. Like I said. She likes it. Ah, it just so happens that the one thing I was hoping for has appeared before me. 
<laughs> it must be a gift from the heavens. I will receive it happily. Does that mean she liked it? <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind of strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part is about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There, it, there is. Indeed. That power is luck. Luck. Actually, there are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. <clears throat> luck is life. Well... Do you see what I am saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. That is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Yeah. And more skill points. Eh, I'll take what I can get. After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I'd better get something to eat before it's night time. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Okay. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped into it. Listen to me! Hey, Makoto, perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. I know, right? Listen to me! You came at just the right time! I must ask for your full cooperation! Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. <laughs> witness to what? What? This guy's been talking crap about me since day one. Call me a coward and crap like that. You're corrupt. You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Yo! That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that? Huh? The F did you say? <sighs> you don't know crap. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself. But you're such a coward you don't even realize it. D damn you, you! So what? You saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it! I know I am! You wanna fight? Okay, then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So what's that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? We're totally gonna lock the door and do it. <laughs> Oops, this is PG, right? Forget what I just said. I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit. Goddamn straight. Which is not what I am. <clears throat> okay, cat, enough yaoi jokes. This is a PG channel. Just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but I mean, I'm kidding about the yaoi stuff. Okay. Half kidding. Okay, we'll, we'll just get this over with. Are you guys really gonna go through with this? I'm fucking around. F yeah. Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You want to throw down? Bring it on! Hell, let's make things interesting. We don't want to win it without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a We're bitch. gonna battle with all our clothes on. Have fun dying in there. But that's idiotic, suicidal. You want to fight? What? 
You afraid? <laughs> You're going to regret this. Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this. And yet, Taka hey, removes all his clothes. <laughs> I love how Taka's just like, I'm not gonna keep my clothes on. And then Mondo just does. And he's got a towel over his hair. That's just, that's just so funny. What, asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. You know, now that I'm back to playing this, and when I hear Mondo speak, all I hear is Hawk Moth from Miraculous Ladybug right now, because he does the same voice. So it's like, when, when I would watch Ladybug, I would hear Mondo when he would speak. But now that I'm back to this, now I hear him speaking as Hawk Moth. And it's like, my mind is just confused. <laughs> so I noticed a lot of voice actors from Danganronpa do voices in Miraculous, Miraculous Ladybug. And so now it's just messing with my brain. So, but yeah, I've been watching that again. On Netflix so that's why it's like oh now I hear Hawk Moth when I hear Mondo and vice versa and when you know Cat Noir speaks it's it's Makoto slash Nagito so yeah okay your face is all red what are you one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys <laughs> that'd be hilarious it just so happens I was born with a red face well I mean he's got red eyes but I don't think that means his whole face is red. You don't have to act all big, man. Oh, okay. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. <laughs> Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, then a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk, dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Yeah, that's not good, Taka. Uh, hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! <laughs> wow. I just can't win. There's the nighttime bell. Hmm, ahem. I've got the doors to the... Okay, then. So... Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win, or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. <sighs> Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Oh. Is that an innuendo, Mondo? Because... Almost sounds like it is. Cough, cough. Oh, shouldn't that be the Gates of Heaven? Eh. That's probably later. The Gates of Hell? That's not a good place to push someone. Th this isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went. In the morning. Then you can then you can start spreading my... my legend! <laughs> Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me! Down on your knees! I'll show you where to do it! Okay, that totally just sounds... Yeah, you guys know where I'm going with this, okay. Big talk for someone whose face is about to explode. <laughs> right back at ya! Dots. Guys! Are you doing things I don't want to know in there? Cuz... Okay, well, good night then! I'm just gonna go crawl back to my room and sleep. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Or would they? 
The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. <clears throat> if fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. Good to know, Monokuma. Good to know. And yet you're a robot, so I mean like... Eh, whatever. Good morning, Blah, blah, Aaron. blah. <laughs> same old, same old. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... Oh, yeah, we know what happened. I mean, I know what happens. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Man, I love you so much. What the... Yo. Hey, Makoto. We're all lovey-dovey now, got it? Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! Huh? Are they friends now? Makoto, they're a lot more than just friends. But it's okay, you, you can stay naive, it's, it's fine. <sighs> They've been like this all morning, they're all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. They keep kissing each other and making out. I can't stand it. God, get a room. What? Feels gross? <laughs> oh no. Feels great, more like. To show him my love. Ugh. <gasps> this almost feels like... <coughs> I'm dying over here. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Like, God, get a damn room. None of us want to see it. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. <coughs> You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. Ain't that right? What you just said, bro? That was cool as crap. I should get a tattoo of it. A big old heart with your name in it. Right on my butt cheek. <laughs> I, I don't know. That just came to me. I could totally see it, though. Yeah. Without a doubt. No, bro. You mustn't. Your body is a temp- Such poetic words, Kyo, Taka, such poetic words. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple, given to you by your loving parents, and I love it so much. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a crap? You gave a crap, obviously, but I guess not anymore. Got it! Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. In other words, they did stuff they do not want to talk about. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's plain as day. So, like... That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Did something happen? Cough, cough. I wink, see. wink, nudge, wink, nudge. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <sighs> yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering, over, overpowering brotherhood, quote unquote. Totally not more than that. Nope, uh, uh, not at all. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Like, God, you guys, right in front of my breakfast? Jeez. So what should I do today? Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit. Open. Wondering who had come to visit. I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Oh, it's Tilko. But as much as I would love to sit and chat with her right now, I'm going to stop this here. Make this one short, just so I can get another episode up for you guys. And also, just in case I have to do some more editing to it later on in case of technical difficulties but yeah um but if not then yeah i'll have this one up hopefully soon and i apologize for the long wait for this episode 
but I will hopefully get back to this on a normal basis. So, yeah, I would, because I kind of missed playing Danganronpa again. And especially because the first one is my favorite. And I just want to, you know, play it again and get these episodes up for you guys and yada yada. So, yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode. So, take care.